Can I check that? We're good to go. All right, so this is how we're going to put the kit together. We just have a base strike one here. We're going to take this one apart, like so. Take out the recoil spring, the locking low, uh, barrel locking lug, and take out the standard barrel. Put the standard barrel right there. We're going to take our 12-inch barrel. the heaviest spring in here because we're going to be getting more feet per second, right? We're going to have more pressure with the longer barrel, so I want to put the stiffest, heaviest weighted spring in here so I don't damage the gun, so I don't hyperextend or have the slide run into the frame. So, I'm going to line that up just like so. Once you'd want that gold spring in there. So we got that in there. Now we're going to put the gun back together just like we would. Function check. Uh, slide the rails on the bottom of the strike one right into there. Make sure this is pointed the right way because that's actually, if that's dialed the wrong way, it won't go in because that bar is going actually through the rails here. So now it's all the way in. Now I can move the gun up into position. I'm going to put this over the bottom of the gun right there. Snap this back into place push the pin back in. Now, I just rotate that little guy right there, just like probably a lot of your red dots or even some of your scope mounts works very similar. Push this lever down into place. Now it's locked in nice and, I mean, it's very solid, locked in there, locked in there nice and tight. And then, just give that a little check. That's working fine. Yep, good to go. Hey, let's get some velocities out of just the five inch barrel. 1206, 1189, 1206, so 1206, 1189, 1206, I'm going to do two more, we'll do a sample of five shots, 1247, 1213. Okay, we just, before we throw it in the whole kit, we just figured why not shoot it without the kit on it? Just so everyone can see exactly how it works. So it's going to be a non tilting barrel operation. Obviously, that's why we can put the 12 inch barrel on here. It's not going to do this. The slide's just going to come straight backwards. Okay, we're good. We're ready. Try one with the 12 inch barrel. Should be 20 to 30. Uh, feet per second. I just want to guess before even doing it faster on average than without so seven in, seven additional Inches of barrel should give us another 200 feet per second. So maybe we're in the 1400s. We'll see 1387 1366 1329 1330 All right, well, it's a little bit. Let's actually get the average here and see what we got. 5 1354 1354 So if we go 1354 minus 1212, we have an extra plus 142 feet per second divided by 7 equals 20.4 feet per second per additional inch of barrel. So we thought we'd get 20 to 30 feet per second. It was on the lower end, but we were in there 20 feet per second for one inch of barrel. All right, cool. Now let's get into shooting at it. Well, 25 and then 50 yards, BZOing that than the AR and seeing how far and accurate we can take these things. Three shots, target on the right.
How do you feel about those? I feel pretty good. All right, cool. Unorthodox and uneven matchup, but fun, of the LRC2 versus the AR-15. 50 yards, both guns, both shooters, PZO over the last half hour. Right? So we should be on target here. And the AR-15 jumps out of the gates. Look at Melissa. We'll just put ones by these. This is the first shot. All right, I'm sorry. One, one, oh boy. and one. Look at you. <gasps> one, one, and one. I might want to still make since we didn't really finish that adjustment. Maybe I'll just do a couple clicks to the right. One, okay, two. this is the second group. So we'll name these two. So good, exact. That's perfect. You're, you know, triangulate that. That's perfect. Oh, and here we are. What? I took three shots, right? Yeah, it must have been one. Oh, there's two, two in three. here. Yeah, it was in there. Yeah, there's two in here. So, two, two, two. Sweet. All right. We're going to move back, yeah, Mel? Yep. I did cl two clicks to the right, by the way. All right, well, here's Mel's. Go back, point back towards the truck. So this is 250 yards, 250 yards, and here's their second group at 100, one there. Here's group number three at 250. That's pretty awesome shooting, really awesome shooting. Well done. That's like uh, you got two in size of uh, about a half little, three quarter of an inch, and you got one over to the left by a few inches. And that's a four MOA, no magnification red dot. All right, let's see what we got over here. I expected this to fall apart, which it did, because I was watching it impact from 250. Unfortunately, I done screwed the pooch again. If we wanted to shoot it at 200, where we shot it last time and got a six to eight inch group. Man, once we hit 250, I saw rounds hitting the dirt right up in front by six feet. I saw some off to the right by three feet. So then I just held about right here and shot five shots. and got one of them right there two of them so you can see two shots from 250 two out of two out of five shots I know one came short here oh look right here oh, hit the funny. deck right there yep and then I had one hit right over here one hit right here so one two low two on target and then one off to the right at 250 so I don't know if there's any data out of that but it was fun quick recap First group at 50 yards, one, one, one. So about a one and a half inch group at 50 yards with the AR. And then Mel shot one, two, three, this group right here at 100 yards. And then her third group, which is one, two, three, same size if not better than her second, is at 250. Now let's look at the LRC2. Group one, 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 one. About four inches. <coughs> That's at 50 yards. Group two, double right there two, three. So maybe a little bit bigger, but about the same size almost as the AR, right? Oh, a little bit bigger than the AR, probably about 20% bigger than the AR at 100 yards. But where the AR obviously excelled at 250, which is the same group as 100, her shooting, that's when the LRC2, we got one here and one shot down here, and then a couple were low and one off was to the right. I took five shots and that lasted 250 because I could see the impact. It was just off. I'll also note, last time we came out and we shot, which we'll put in the video of where the group was, um, we'll do a much uh, more sound test in the future because we've kind of moved between one ammo to the other. This is standard velocity, 115 grain, you know, inexpensive stuff. We bought this in bulk. You can also get it at Walmart. It's a Perfecta stuff. But last time we shot the expensive plus P double tap ammo, and that, we didn't, the chronograph wasn't running, but on the box it says 1400 feet per second. That's out of a duty pistol, 1400 feet per second. And we're getting about 1200, 1150 feet per second out of standard velocity. Last time we were shooting those six to eight inch groups at 200 with the LRC2, we were using that plus P.
walk out here. <laughs> but, <laughs> Shit, no. All right. but we're pretty excited. We knew we were shooting high and this round is probably, I can't wait to show a chronograph, but we're gonna shoot the same round out of a crony. I think we're gonna get about uh, 1,700 feet per second out of it. So at 100 yards, it was much higher than our standard velocity. At 150, it was still going up and off paper. We aimed change point of impact. I put the dot about right here and all of our rounds are a little bit high and to the left. We, shot, we saw that we were going a little bit left at 150. You know, you do a good BZO, you never really know how good your BZO is until you take it further up. But this is a pretty good group. We shot six rounds total, three each. So I probably got these three. <laughs> No, you got oh, this no. one and you missed twice. Oh, come on. Either way, huh. even if out of six of them, Gosh. we know our group is probably up here. A couple you know off paper. mine were the lower ones. Everyone just relax. You relax. Oh my god, if someone left a chest of Coors Light <laughs> over there, see it? You see the chest of Coors Light? Just no. Looking for me. 